Yeah, guys, well, opening day for the legislature comes as uh, Governor Dreduce is under ongoing pressure and under criticism to increase the funding for the state's K-12 schools. And also as he prepares for a re-election run, in fact, uh, reports say this morning that funding for Arizona public schools is among the lowest in the nation and teacher pay is also at or near the bottom. However, Ducey says he's pushed to increase spending by $700 million uh, in the past three years and that more will come this year. But he says good news this morning that that money won't come from the tax hikes. Instead, Ducey insists he can find the money elsewhere in the budget. This year, Ducey also facing a health care emergency. He's expected to propose similar, if not stricter, limits on what all other doctors in Arizona can prescribe in terms of opioids. Meantime, the state is also waiting for Congress to finally reauthorize the Children's Health Insurance Program, which provides nearly free care to children and families whose parents earn too much to qualify for Medicaid. Medicaid, but still have problem with commercial health insurance premiums. Funding for that ran out uh, last October, but uh, some lawmakers are hoping that they can continue funding that program until March of this year. Now, we'll have a list of more issues that are expected to be discussed in the next half hour, along with some bills that have already been filed. We're live in downtown this morning. I'm Carlos Herrera, Pan Sam. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Carlos, thank you very much. And this morning